Well, district and school officials are apologizing for hate speech published as part of a graduating senior's quote in the Highland High School yearbook. New specialist Garna Mejia gives us a breakdown on this. Garna, how did this happen and who exactly dropped the ball? Yeah, that seems to be the million dollar question tonight, you guys. It's exactly what school and district officials are trying to get to the bottom of. But this is what we know so far. Yesterday, students at Highland High Schools got their yearbooks. And in the senior quote section, they found this. It was published under one of the senior students' pictures. It says, there are two genders and a lot of mental illnesses. This is all that came to light after another student posted about it on social media, expressing concerns that it was extremely effective offensive to students, specifically the LGBTQIA plus community. Now, the Salt Lake City School District confirmed that the quote was published in this year's yearbook and issued a statement from interim superintendent Larry Madden apologizing to students, saying in part, to have something like this included in one of our high school yearbooks is abhorrent. Now, we spoke with district spokesperson Yandari Chatwin, who says the district is not only investigating this case, but they will be reviewing the editing process of yearbooks at all of their schools. A deep apology to the community. We are taking this seriously, as I mentioned, and we'll definitely look into how this happened because there is a, an editorial process um, and, and we're going to look into that to see where the gap was, how this even got published into one of our yearbooks. It's unacceptable. Now, Highland High School's new principal, Jeremy Chatterton, added that this does not reflect the school's values, saying in part, the inclusion of this quote in the yearbook is more than just an administrative oversight. It is an affront, an attack on our Highland community and our LGBTQIA plus community in particular. He continues, I want to reassure community members that I will take the steps necessary to make sure something like this is never allowed to happen again. Now, the school says that the student responsible for that quote is obviously no longer at the school. They graduated. In the meantime, uh, school officials are making counselors available to any students that may have been impacted by this statement ba made by that student in the yearbook. Uh, we'll go ahead and post a link to how parents can reach out to school officials. For now, we'll send it back to you. I'm Garna Mejia, KSL 5 News. All right, Garna, thanks for following that story for us.